unless you tell objects to collide in Game Maker, they will just kind of float over each other. But you have got a say in what floats over what, and that's to do with setting the depths of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my, ro my um, rocket here. So I'm going into the object. I don't set this in the sprite. I set it in the object to a depth of 1. And then I'm going to go to my clouds and I'm going to set them to a depth of 2. Um, I'm not sure how big these numbers can get, but you could set a number of different depths so that different things overlapped or covered different things. So now I'm expecting that the clouds will go behind the rockets. So, as I think I said earlier, they won't actually collide or do anything unless you tell them to with the programming. So let's have a look at what this looks like. Okay, so here's the game. And in fact, as I expected, those clouds are going behind the rockets. Now, obviously, that will only happen in situations where they're both allowed to be on the screen at the same time. Um, but that's how you can get, you can say what sits in front of what.